Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing my... It's not January anymore. Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing my February book haul. Uh, and unboxing, I guess, because there's boxes. These past two months have just not been very good with how I buy books. So let's start on the books on the top of the, the stack. The first book I'm going to start with was a pre-order slash wanted to continue the series and it is Crest by Marissa Mayer or Meyer I'm not quite sure it's an E so I'm thinking Mayer but yes um oh, my cat I think this is gonna be an every video thing are you done this series is called the Lunar Chronicle series it is a it is a fairy tale retelling and it is Wow, why can't- words are not happening today. And each book follows a different fairy tale, so the first book followed Cinderella, the second book followed, um, Little Red Riding Hood, this one follows Rapunzel, and it's, uh, set in a, uh, it's like in a sci-fi type of a world. This book has Rapunzel in it, and it has both the other two, uh, protagonists of the other two stories, which is, uh, Cress, which is Cress. Which is Cinder and Scarlet. I'm- the next two books that I purchased, I bought them kind of like on a whim when I went to Barnes & Noble's. I was just there and I saw them and um, I figured, why not? One of them I'm actually currently reading right now and the other one I'm planning on reading fairly soon. Um, hopefully with somebody, if anybody wants to do a read along with me. With this particular book that I'm about to show, please. Let me know, but it is The Furies of Calderon by Jim Butcher. I'm really excited to read this book. It, I kind of get a, a Legend of Zelda feel from this book, but I also get an Avatar The Last Airbender feel because of the whole Furies being the elements of the, the whatever and um, elements of the earth. But uh, the reason I picked this one up is literally the same day I was in, I was sitting bored and I was reading. I, think I was reading something on a different author and it linked me to how the Furies of Calderon was created, like how it came about, and it was one of the most hilarious things I've ever read in my life. And it involved Pokemon, and uh, yeah, so I went ahead and picked it up. It, it uh, um, also it was the first time I've ever seen the first book in the bookstore, so that's also the other reason why I picked it up, because I know that my Barnes & Nobles really sucks and they never have the first in any series. So, um, the fact that I found the first in the series, and because he, the author made me laugh so much, I picked it up. Also, the story just sounds really cool. This cover, though, is atrocious. The next book I picked up, the same day I picked up The Furies of Calderon, and it is something I've already spoken about, kinda, in my Goodreads tag, and it is The Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I just started this book on the 28th of February, so I, I did read it in February like I said I was gonna do. So this book is about Darrow and in this book the world is classified by color and his color is red and he lives on Mars and what he's doing on Mars with all of the reds they're pretty much slaves and they pretty much just um, they're terraforming the planet so humans can come and live on Mars normally. Don't read the beginning flop um, I beg of you, don't do that. Just just go in it knowing that it's a dystopian world. Obviously, they're trying to overthrow the government and all that kind of stuff. So just just know that. And it's actually really well written so far. I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Just, just don't read the flap. So yeah, I am enjoying it so far. And I will be doing a review of this pretty soon. Okay, so the first box I'm going to be opening in this like unboxing haul is the book outlet box. Open in the box. Open in the box. Open in the box, open in the box. <laughs> there you go. So the first thing I was I purchased is a graphic novel I was highly, highly recommended. And um, I saw it on Book Outlet and I went ahead and purchased it and it is American Born Chinese. But yes, I heard it's amazing so I went ahead and picked it up. The next book I purchased I've been eyeing like crazy. Um, I saw it in the new release section a couple of months ago. I don't know when this was released. I saw it on Book Outlet, so I went ahead and picked it up, and it is Deathless by Catherine M. Valente. Um, I'm very excited to read this. The next book I picked up, I'm actually really excited to read. It is a... Um, it is a children's book, a middle grade 
book and it is The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. Um, I've seen a lot of people really like Brandon Sanderson lately and um, that's pretty awesome. My friend read it and he said it was like Pokemon meets um, that other one the one that the, the one that they had all the cards for Yu-Gi-Oh he, he said something about Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, Pokemon and all that kind of stuff so yes and it has a blurb by Orson Scott cards of course I had to go pick it up but apparently it's like chalk monsters and they draw chalk is a historical fiction book that I'm very excited to get my hands on uh, it's because it is Zelda Fitzgerald it is called Z a novel um, it's like a historical fiction book on Zelda Fitzgerald and um, F. Scott Fitzgerald. Um, Zelda Fitzgerald is the wife of F. Scott Fitzgerald and um, yeah, I've always thought the lady was interesting so it would be nice to actually read a book on it. Amazon package! So the first book I purchased, I got it because I saw it at Barnes and Nobles as per usual when I go to Barnes and Nobles and I was super excited about it. <laughs> I was super excited about it because it is one of my favorite things mixed with one of my other favorite things and that is the Star Wars by William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare's Star Wars and it is literally Star Wars the entire thing. Oh so pretty! Look at this cover! It's like him wearing... I can't. I can't. It's so awesome. Who, who wrote this? Ian? Thank you, Ian. This is awesome. Look at the look at the back. Let's just I can't. This is underneath the uh, dust jacket. It is stunning. It's supposed to look like an old leather book. It's like nice material too. It's not like it's crappy material. This is awesome. And that's the inside. Is this a really cool pattern? Oh my god, this is so awesome! Book I purchased is one I saw in Barnes & Nobles. It is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I've heard good things about this book. Um, and it was in the science fiction section. It's about uh, Earth being taken over by aliens and the aliens- Oh my god, the hands are so itchy. And the aliens are um, like killing humans in waves or something. I don't- Well, excuse you. The next two things I'm about to show, and it's a manga. I'm gonna let that sink in if you know me. I'm going to read Death Note. And the edition I got, I didn't realize the pages were black, so this is like super awesome. Uh, but yeah, I've never read a manga in my life. I've read comic books all my life, but I've never read a manga. And this is going to be my first crack at it, so hopefully I really, really enjoy it. But I did enjoy the light, the live-action version of Death Note. I got the first and the second volume. Wow. The next package is one of these pulley ones. I know exactly what's in it, and I, you guys have no idea how hard it's been for me to not have this open, not have opened this the day it came to my door. It came to my door the day it came out. It's in preparation or kind of foreshadowing what my next couple weeks are going to be about on this channel and in life in general. Really? Are you guys ready for what it is? Because I'm super excited about this right now. I'm actually going to crack it open and just, um... It is the season three of Game of Thrones! Yay! So this is gonna be a fun, fun time. Does it come in a clear box? Is that what's happening right now? I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I will see you in my next video. Please remember to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads. I will accept you no matter what. And I will see you guys in my next video, which is a hopeful January wrap-up. I'm not quite sure about that. January. We're in February. We're in March. Oh my god. Bye guys.